say what? Hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial and oh, it feels like it's been forever. If you haven't noticed, you can't notice, I've upgraded my entire like equipment pretty much from lights to cameras to lenses to pretty much everything. The software, like I pretty much took a big ass leap and I decided to seriously like I have to do something because the quality before was just not good enough for me and I feel like I just needed to upgrade to better equipment. That's why it took so long to kind of upload a video because I've been waiting for lights to come in, um, to get a new camera, to just everything pretty much was a complete upgrade. So with that being said, I'm back with this new tutorial just in time for St. Patrick's Day and I wanted to do like a St. Patrick's Day kind of glam type of thing. Just something you can kind of wear like if you're going out for St. Patrick's Day or if you want to wear some type of like jungle green kind of sexy kind of look out in general. I don't know, I just like the way like the gold lid and like the accents um, green on the bottom. I kind of like the way it came out. So, and of course we gotta pop off the highlight because y'all know I love glowy skin. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. I heard like a lot of great things about this primer, so I figured I'd test it out because clearly, as you can see, ha -ha, oxymoron, I am breaking out like crazy. I'm gonna place this just over these areas to kind of minimize the texture and everything else that's not going right on my face. My skin feels like so smooth now. Now I'm gonna just take some tape and place this right at the end of my eye. Just like that and then do the other side and stick that bad boy down. I'm gonna go in with MAC Soft Ochre. It looks like this. And I'm just going to be placing this on my lids to prime them. Taking um, Light Sweep by MAC. I think I believe this is a setting powder. And I'm just going to be placing this all over the lid with a fluffy brush. I'm not going to like do it neatly. I'm just going to like do a light sweep of it. The first color I'm going to go in with is in the Stardust palette. And it's called um, Millennial. And it's this color right here. I'm just going to be placing this inside of the crease. Ew, why did I say it like that? Crease. I'm gonna be using this as a transition color. Wow, what was that? So once you have that in the crease, I'm gonna go ahead and start building it up. Um, and then I'm gonna be placing the lid color later on. So the next color I'm gonna go into is this um, color by a makeup geek called Chickadee. And I'm gonna be taking a smaller kind of tapered um, blending brush as well and just dipping it in there and going below that millennial color I'm just going to be placing this inside the crease as well then I'm just going to be blending it out with the other brush and the next color I'm going to go into to deepen this a little bit more is Coco Bear and it's a Makeup Geek eyeshadow. And I'm gonna just be placing this right in the crease. And blending it out a little bit. So now that we've made that crease a little bit more deeper, I'm gonna place um, Americano and it's another Makeup Geek eyeshadow and I'm just going to be placing that right on top pretty much of um, Kobo Bear. So I'm going to be taking this more like tapered kind of brush and just like dipping the point in there and then going right into that crease area. Blending that out. Yeah. 
side. Okay, so once we have that, now we're gonna go ahead with the lid. And I'm gonna be taking this kind of gold, well not kind of, it is a gold shadow from the Stardust palette. It's called Gold Nugget and it looks like this. And I'm just gonna be placing this on my lid with just a flat brush, but I'm going to be spraying the MAC Fix Plus, spraying my brush with that and then dipping it in that gold nugget color and then placing it on my lid. Okay, because I want it a little bit more pigmented on top, I feel like it's not as gold as I want it to be. I'm gonna go into the Sugar Pill um, Loose Eyeshadow Pigment in Goldilocks and I'm just gonna be spraying my Fix Plus and then placing this right on top. Yes. Okay, now once we have that on, I'm gonna be going back into the crease a little bit more just because we lost some of that color and I'm going back in with Coco Bear. Whatever we got onto the crease from the Goldilocks. And then I'm gonna go back in with that Chickadee color one more time and just kind of blend all this better. I just feel like we lost some of that color from the Americano and Cocoa Bear, so I'm just kind of lightening it up a little bit. I'm gonna be actually carving out my um, underneath the brows a little bit, and I don't have a concealer. I'm taking just a little bit of concealer and placing that right under my brows just so it helps like clean them up a little bit and highlight at the same time. Okay, so once you have that on, I'm gonna now peel off this tape. with a makeup wipe. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. Now I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation stick. I'll be just placing this all over my face because as you can see, clearly I need it. And with a beauty blender, blending it out. I didn't go all the way up with the foundation under my eyes because I actually want to use the, the NYX Dark Circle, the corrector. And I'm actually going to be placing this under my eyes. And then taking the Beauty Blender, same thing, I'm going to be just blending this out. Not bad NYX, not bad. I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Conceal. it out. I'm taking the Naked Skin, Urban Decay Naked Skin. Blend it out. We're going to be taking this and just using this to set everything. Jack it up. Once we have that, I'm going to go in with MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I have um, a medium plus, setting the rest of the face. I'm going to do my brows really quick. I'm taking the um, L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. It's a brow setter drugstore and it's really good. So I'm just going to set these brows in place. Placing the ColourPop gel liner in the color, what is this? Fast Lane, and it's like a jungle green type of color. And I'm just going to be placing this on my waterline. Did I just say on my waterline? On my waterline. To kind of like smoke it out a little bit more, I'm going to be taking this like deep jungle green color, smoking that line out. And going in with this color high tea. I'm gonna be going back onto that lash line one more time. Going in with chickadee. I'm gonna place that right on top. Now going in with ColourPop's gel liner, and it's the one in the 
pot, I'm going to be winging my lash line on top. Or I could just say doing a wing liner. I have a more in-depth tutorial on this, so I will be linking that below. I feel like it's, I don't know, either drying out or like, I don't know, but it seems like it's getting like hard to apply lately. I'm switching over to liquid. <laughs> Hold on. I think I'm going to smoke out the bottom a little bit more. I'm place a little bit of cocoa bear down there just to give it a little bit more warmth. I'm going to be taking Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Yeah, I think I'm going to curl my lashes really quick. Lashes are on. I'm going to be taking this color by MAC. It's called, what is it called? Carefree. I know this is a pro long wear eyeshadow, but they got discontinued. I'm just going to be placing that in the inner corner of my eye as a highlight. And I'm also going to be placing this right under the brow bone. Applying mascara to my bottom lash line. Taking this e.l.f. palette. And I just picked this up. And I believe it's like new. But it's like their contour palette. I'm going to be taking, I think there's a lighter color right here. Just in case. I don't know how dark this is. Damn, e.l.f. coming up in this world. So once we have that contoured, I'm going to be taking this color right here. It's almost like a banana color. And I'm going to be highlighting. Oh my god, what? Wow. I'm like amazed right now. I can't believe that. Alrighty then. While that's baking, I'm going to be taking um, the ColourPop Super Cheek Highlight in Wisp. Love this highlight. And I normally highlight with this color. So I'm going to be dipping my beauty blender in here. And I'm doing a little bit above the brow. Just like that. I'm going to be placing Max Melba for a blush. And I just blend that together. I'm now taking Becca's Opal and spray a little bit of Mac Fix Plus. This isn't glowing. I don't know what it is. Wiping off this bakage that we got going on. I'm going to be taking the Beauty Blender one more time and spraying some uh, Mac Fix Plus and then just going right on top of that highlight so that it doesn't look like it's like kicked onto your face. It kind of like sinks into your skin and looks more natural. So for the lips, I'm going to be taking this Rimmel Liner in the color Natural. My lips are so freaking dry right now. Like the thirst is real. I got to add some lip balm really fast. This is like driving me nuts. It's just like the, uh, the Nivea Lip Butter in Raspberry Rose Kiss. It's like this. It's fun. I'm taking Max Creme the Nude lipstick. I'm gonna just be taking. Now I need a lip brush. I'm gonna take the Buxom lip gloss in amber. FYI, Buxom lip gloss is like one of my top favorite glosses ever. Like any gloss they make, They're so freaking amazing. I'm just gonna spray my face one more time. Okay, that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Um, I'm going to be back a lot more. I'm going to be trying to upload at least two videos a week. I'm going to try my best. Now, with my new setup and everything, hopefully everything goes well. So, yeah, if you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.